Yeah, hi. The, the, the next one that I'll, I'll talk to you about is an, another one that I've done for myself. Um, this, this, this one's a little bit unique in that it's in a better suburb. Um, Delorain Street is uh, in, a, in an upmarket area. Uh, it's right beside a school. It's close to major shops, right beside a major thoroughfare. Employment, um, it, it is very much a, a heavily owner-occupied suburb. Um, hence, the rental properties there are, are up a little bit, um, but you're also paying a lot more money to, 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 to be in the suburb. Now, there was other reasons for me purchasing this property because I, I could see value in um, spending a little bit of money on, on the property to enhance the, the overall value of the project. So, so this one, and you can see by the photographs and the video of when I was looking at it, um, I paid $492,500. So that was, um, yeah, it's 100000 nearly more than, than the other one. Um, but I'll, I'll get better rents now. Three bedroom, one bathroom, at about three ninety two. But as a project manager, so this is not only do I project manage for the auxiliary home, but if there's if there's a way of enhancing the value of, of the main house and everything, I'll, I'll obviously talk, talk to my clients about that too. But I had seventeen thousand five hundred in costs, so it's the purchase price and that's the cost, and I spent eighteen thousand dollars building in downstairs. So. Um, there was correct height downstairs, there were some horrible panels and, and everything, anyway, that's in the other video, but, um, but what I could see is I could um, add the extra family room, add a bedroom, and then uh, have an ensuite included with the laundry downstairs. So I've turned this house into a uh, four bedroom, two family room, two bathroom, double garage. So um, normally I would have been, been, been getting I don't know, high 400s or something like that rent, but I've, on this one, $530 a week rent. And I've expended, I'm looking for a cheat sheet, where's it gone? 528. I expended 528,000. Now I'll put a, 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 the auxiliary home I put on this one's a little bit bigger. Um, and it's bigger in the lounge room. So the Ox, Ox home, Hundred and five thousand landscaping, and this one was six thousand. And again, every, every project's different, and and that, that's why it's sort of the figures are close. But um, um, that that's my role as the, the project manager. Um, I, I've got a, a team of tradies that I, I, I trust will go in and do a good job, give us the right outcome, and 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 it, it turns it into a turnkey. Um, the fit out was 1500 1, Now the rooms, you know, the house, the auxiliary home comes um, air conditioned with fans in every room. Um, the, the, the fit out then is a dishwasher in the kitchen and uh, nice curtains and everything. So I'm like very homely and stuff. Now, uh, in, in this particular case, and, and this is the case going forward, um, the council now have an infrastructure charge. They didn't get me on the other one. From, from now on, they've got this infrastructure fee, and it's $7,000 council charge. So they got on the money, money, money bandwagon, but what do you do? You certainly don't stop yourself from doing it because the figures work. It's cash flow positive, so, um, so 121, 500. Let's say 122. So our, our, our total, my total spend on this was 650. Like I said, that, that's that's about 100 up on on what I'd normally want to do. But um, turning this from three bedrooms in, into four bedrooms, two family, and everything, I've got a I've got an instant capital gain there. And that, that's that's the reason why I did it. Um, and you know, $18,000 is not a lot of money to spend. So, so I get 530 for this, and I'll get, no, I get 530 for this, and I get 350. So I've got $880 a week rent. Now, 
So 880 against 650, we're obviously well, well surplus on the cash flow. So I earn 45,706, that's what it gross. Uh, from that, I've got management of about three and a half. I've got rates about 1,600, insurance about 1,200. That extra 100 grand over the previous place is in land value. So uh, all, all the denominators remain the same. Um, so that's six and a half. So my net on that is 39,000. 39,200, 39, so that's my net. Um, that's gross, 7%, and this is net, 6%. Can't get in the bank. So I get 6%, so I paid 650 for it, I'm getting 6% 6 after expenses. That's revenue, and then I've got the growth on, on the value of the asset. So over the next 10, 15, 20 years, how, however long um, I hold the place for, I've then got the capital growth. So my overall return is well in excess of this. This is just revenue that we're talking about. And it's relevant because revenue is what pays the bills. Um, now, if I were to borrow the money, uh, 650,000. So 650 by 4%. Uh, I just use four percent as a so I've got twenty six thousand. So my cash my cash surplus is thirteen thousand two hundred on this project. So so thirteen two hundred divided by fifty two. It's $254 a week, cash flow positive. <laughs> Investments that are cash flow positive, secured by a quality asset, um, makes, in my view, makes a lot of sense. So what do you do with that $254? Um, if you own, if you've got money owing on your home loan, pay it off sooner. Do you know, and, and here's something to contemplate. If you've got three of these, right? So, and you know, this, people buy more than one, people buy more than two, just just on these returns. But if, if you had three of these, you've got 26, 39, you've nearly got $40,000 a year being paid off your home loan. Pays your home loan really, really quick at that. And then, then you can decide what you do about paying, paying the debt off. So. Um, the investment that is. So, uh, again, cash flow positive allows you lots of choices on, on how you go about creating wealth. So, this was a good one.